Hello, this is Vigo47 and you're watching third episode of my newbie home recording tutorial. This time we'll be talking about Reaper. Reaper is a digital audio workstation and it should cover all your home recording needs. Uh, there are a few smart people behind Reaper, people who made also Winamp or Gnutella and stuff like that, so there's no need to worry about the quality. Uh, you can find it on www.reaper.fm it has surprisingly small installation package, few megabytes. Uh, it's a commercial product. I can read about licensing here, but for home usage it costs you like 50 bucks, which is not that much. And uh, while there is really nothing that prevents you from using it, you know, for unlimited time, it's fair to pay for it. I did, many other people did, and we all want this software to be better and better and you know, those people have to live from something as well. When you start Reaper, the window will look probably like this. We have some menu here, toolbar, panel where you can add your tracks. Now, this is called track control panel. Uh, there is a main area where you can edit your tracks. We will show it later. There is a transport and finally there is a mixer. Before we will record some tracks, we will check out preferences. It's a very important dialog, obviously. Under audio, you can find device subsection, and here is here you can uh, select your audio system. After previous two episodes, we've decided to go for ASIO instead of uh, Windows kernel streaming or Windows mixer. And when you select ASIO, you have to select also your ASIO driver. That's, of course, the case when you have more ASIO-capable devices with more drivers. It's not possible to use multiple ASIO drivers at once because of some synchronization problems and stuff like that. Let's get back to the main window and record some track. In Audacity you press the record button, new track was added and uh, recording started immediately. Here it's a different story. You have to create and prepare your track before. You can create a track by keystroke or via contextual menu. Depends on your preferences. Keystrokes are obviously always faster. Now you still can't record. If you try to, magical dialog appears and it tells you that you can't record because no tracks are armed for recording. You have to arm your track for recording. It's this magical button. Now you can select your input for the track. You can monitor your input if you want. And with your track armed for recording, now you can record. So the track is recording. There is something. I, I used I use different microphone for this. Track is recorded. Now you can listen to it and uh, we can apply some effects here in this case I use only some compressor but it's also not set up properly you can disarm your track you can create new track and arm this track for recording and now record again it looks more complicated than in other city however there are some reasons for this you can use multiple tracks and record all at once. In this case it's obviously not the best setup because I'm recording three times the same thing. But you can record for example other input. You can record your microphone and some of your MIDI inputs. And I will start my MIDI keyboard. I will check out preferences again subsection MIDI devices you can see that it's enabled and uh, as this input was set up to uh, listen to all MIDI events on all channels it should work yeah and it works 
you can see uh, you can see the red square, little red square here. It means that there is some MIDI event. Now I will remove one of those duplicated tracks and I will remove this item here. And I will start recording. Now I can sing and I can play some keyboards. Let's stop it. You can see, this is the reason why you can set up multiple tracks, arm them and then record them at once. Up to this point we have shown that uh, Reaper is uh, good with ASIO, it supports ASIO and it supports MIDI. It is built in MIDI editor, which is a very important feature uh, compared to Audacity. Here is a panel, you can uh, move your MIDI events with drag and drop, you can quantize those events so they fit properly into those boxes. You have to select the right, the right uh, options here. You can experiment if you want. Like, you, know, you can select those events. You can, you know, uh, edit the velocity, the, the power. You uh, you hit the keyboard, and uh, if you um, mispressed some key, you can correct it very 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 intuitively. We will not go into details uh, related to MIDI now. I just want to show you that the Reaper has capabilities related to MIDI. Because I will not make it in 10 minutes, I will stop the lesson right here. Check out the next video for Reaper and uh, its VST support and also some envelopes editing. See you!